My name is Nof Al Sukaini. Uh, I came from Iraq, and uh, my name uh, means the top of mountain. I came to United States after a, a long journey. I uh, left my country in 2007 because of the war, and I uh, moved to Syria. And then in 2012, the uh, war started in Syria, so I have to, uh, at that time, change the place to a safer place with my family to Turkey. And we've been like we stay in. Uh, we lived in uh, Turkey for two years and a half, and then after that I came to United States as a refugee. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very hard uh, when you moved from place to place just to find a place that you can live in and adjust it to it. Uh, we have like a new countries, a new, like we have to know new people, we have to know the, their languages, their cultures, and we really struggled and we really find a hard time when we went to Turkey because the language was really hard. It's different. It's not Arabic like Syria. The hard, we, we had a hard time in the United States because the language is different. But thanks God, we, I can read and write English, but I can't speak it at that time because I don't have anyone to speak English with. So when I came here, I started uh, at Portland Adult Education and then I study the personal support specialist to have a job. And then I have a lot like community. So they supported me already. And thanks God, the, 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 I think the main people, they are really good. They support us even if we have some like, uh, um, when we, I, I was like, I have a lot of friends. When I did any mistakes, I told them, please correct me. Please correct me. So they accept us and they Actually, they are li really welcoming the refugees people. Mm -hmm. And uh, the most hardest things when we came, it was the language barrier. Mm -hmm. I left um, my memories, um, my home, my neighbors. Um, I lived in Iraq like 27 years. Mm -hmm. So from, from my life, like so I left everything that related to my memories, my childhood memories, my youth memories, when I like my first marriage there, I had my daughter there, it's a lot. I find a new home in the United States and it means a lot to me because uh, we find a place that we can uh, live together, love each other, live in peace and um, I can at least right now, um, looking for my future and I know that I will never change this place anymore for me, for my daughter, for my family because thanks God like I came here with my mom and uh, I have two aunts they follow us and I have my brother he was here already so and I have a lot like right, right now friends um, I have um, friends from my job so I create my own family a big huge family well Maine I can say Maine unusual like state of Maine mm -hmm. is really a good place for all refugees if they want to start their life here mm -hmm. and if you want to ask any anyone they will say the same things because they will say the same things because we find a lot of resources uh, the uh, the government here like the the DHHS by the like by example when I came here the DHHS uh, right now the Fed Cup or the Catholic charity when we came here mm -hmm. there is a lot of resources there is a lot of agencies mm -hmm support the refugees people mm -hmm. like uh, case managers uh, any agencies with case manager counselors i didn't hear any resources like this in another states so maine was really like i have i i didn't find it uh, hard here to find someone support me or my family i balance two cultures because i have right now a family like I have a, my family here and my friend, they are like, let's say American. So we share our like culture together and we uh, we find it, it, it work right now. So it's good. And we adapted a new, a good new things yeah. in our life. I advise anyone who wanna like uh, live in United States or in Maine, the most important thing to learn the language because Language is the key to be successful in your life. It will open all closed doors.